President Obama is defending the use of drone strikes in the war on terror, even when the targets are American citizens. In fact, he says that U.S. citizenship should not be, as he put it, a shield for those who intend to hurt Americans. Chris Van Cleve here now with more on that. Chris? Well, guys, it was the first major national security speech of the second term. President Obama spoke of moving away from the concept of the global war on terror to a series of persistent targeted efforts to dismantle networks of violent extremists that threaten America. This as he addressed drone strikes and closing Guantanamo Bay. What to do about drones? Following the administration's disclosure that four Americans have been killed by U.S. drone strikes overseas, the president called the program necessary and effective. America does not take strikes when we have the ability to capture individual terrorists. Our preference is always to detain, interrogate, and prosecute them. Still, Mr. Obama announced new presidential policy guidelines for the use of drone strikes, setting a preference for military control. The president also said he was open to additional regulations of drones outside of war zones, including creating a special court system. You are commander in chief. Uh, let me address it. Close Guantanamo today. Why don't you let me address it? But it was the Guantanamo Bay Detention Center that got the president heckled. Mr. Obama called on Congress to lift its restrictions on detainee transfers. Imagine a future. 10 years from now, or 20 years from now, when the United States of America is still holding people who have been charged with no crime on a piece of land that is not part of our country. Republicans in Congress quickly responded. The administration never came up with a coherent or cohesive plan to close Guantanamo Bay. That's why it is still open today. Now, Senator McCain pledged to work with the president to close Guantanamo Bay. President Obama warned while al-Qaeda has been weakened, new security threats are emerging. And it is time, he said, for the nation to draw on a decade of experience to ask hard questions about the best way to confront these new threats. Guys? All right.